published 1755 est the 23rd of November 2017 updated 1755 est the 23rd of November 2017 Wayne Rooney has given Everton caretaker manager David Unsworth a ringing endorsement, despite labelling a 51 home defeat by Atlanta in the Europa League upsetting and hurtful. The Toffees, who are already out of the competition, were embarrassed in front of their own fans by the Serie A side. Brian Christant II, Robin Gossens and Andreas Cornelius II piled on the agony for Unsworth as he bids to take permanent charge at Goodison Park. Wayne Rooney conceded Everton's defeat by Atalanta was upsetting and hurtful Rooney believes there has been an overall improvement since the former defender took over from Ronald Koeman, despite just one win in six games. He told BT Sport there's nothing riding on the game but it's our pride. It's not nice to lose games in the manner in which we lost it. It's very disappointing and upsetting, we wanted to win the game and we haven't and that was a hurtful defeat for us, obviously, there has been a change of manager and it's been a positive change I believe in terms of performances, obviously, tonight aside, and you can see that on the pitch. David Unsworth received the backing of Rooney despite his poor record in charge Everton have taken only one point from the five Europa. League group games this season we have to keep trying to pick up points in the Premier League and move up the table. Since David Unsworth has come in, there has been a great atmosphere amongst the players, some positive results and the players are enjoying day-to-day -day training, the board have got a decision to make and I'm sure they're working on it. Everton have taken only a point from a woeful group stage, but got back in the game at 21 through Ramirez Sandro's first goal for the club, three goals in the final four. Minutes left the Toffees red-faced, though, Robin Gossens celebrates with teammate Timothy Castagne after scoring a decisive third goal Danish international Andreas Cornelius added a late brace for the Italian side.